Hey everyone, my name is Riley, and in this video, I will be showing you how you can translate any video into a different language. Going from a video in English. Hey everyone, my name is Riley, and in this video, to a video in another language, for example, Spanish. Hola a todos, mi nombre es Wiley, y en este video, this is super simple to do, and the AI software that we will be using to do this is called Eleven Labs. If you click on the first link in the description of this video, you will be able to create your free Eleven Labs account, where you can translate up to 10,000 characters for completely free. Once you are on Eleven Labs, simply click on this sign up button in the top right corner. From here, we can then create our Eleven Labs account by either entering your email and creating a password, or you can sign up with Google using this button right here. Once you have created your Eleven Labs account, you will be taken over to this speech synthesis area. Now, this is not the area that we need to use when we are translating videos from one language to another. So instead, we need to go over to this panel on the left hand side and go down to dubbing right here. Click into this, and this is going to take us to the dubbing area where we can translate content across 29 languages. So down here, this is where we want to go ahead and create our dubbing project. Before we title any of this though, let's first of all select the video that we would like to translate. In here, there are a few different options. We can either do this by uploading a video straight from our device, so we can click here, and I will choose this video where I showed people how to create an AI website. Let's select this. And as you can see, this video is going to be dropped in right here. The only limitations to uploading a video from your device is let me go ahead and delete this and then choose a longer video. Let's go for this one. You will notice that on the free plan with this upload section, you can't upload files that are larger than 500 megabytes. However, we can get around this by using one of these other features where we can upload a video from YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Vimeo, or some other kind of URL. Let's go over to YouTube, and I will upload a video from my YouTube channel. Let's go for this Shopify tutorial right here. And then all we have to do is grab the link from the top, paste this in to the YouTube URL, and that is how we can get around that 500 megabyte upload limitation. Now, before we go ahead and create this, what we can also do is go to the advanced settings and choose the time range for dubbing. So for example, if I didn't want to dub this entire video, but I just wanted to dub the first minute, in here, I can enter the timestamp, so 00 to the first minute. We can then choose a dubbing name project. So I'm just going to say Shopify tutorial in Spanish. Then for the source language, we want to set this to the language that the video is in, which is English. And then we want to translate this into Spanish, or you can choose from any of these other options. So I'm going to go for Spanish. And then from here, we can now click on create. Just like that, this video is now going to start translating. And you can see the current status, how far it is downloaded with this bar right here. Just like that, we can see this video is now dubbed. So we have a few different options. We can either view this within 11 labs, or we can go ahead and download this. So let's first of all click on view and listen to how this sounds. Hola a todos, mi nombre es Wiley y en este video voy a mostrarte cómo puedes crear. So as you can see, that video has now been dubbed into Spanish. So we can now go ahead and click download. And just like that, this has now downloaded. So let's go ahead and open this up. Hola a todos, mi nombre es Wiley. And we now have this video downloaded for whatever purpose we want to use this for. So that is how you can translate any video into another language. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.